Hello, I'm Cliff Hignett of Soil Water Solutions and I'm here to demonstrate the use of the Soil Water Solutions borehole permeameter which is based on the principles of the Talisman permeameter. There are two parts to the instrument. The major part is the measuring cylinder part that measures the amount of water in this tube and hence the amount of water leaving the tube. The other part is just a piece of uh, ordinary IPLEX 20mm piping which can be uh, with a cap on the end and a couple of holes drilled in it which you can make any length you like. This one is a, a designed to do holes up to about a metre deep. There's a, a rubber gland in here which you should keep clean um, and when these instruments are delivered they're delivered in a state like that to make them a little uh, shorter and cheaper to deliver. Before you use them you, you should extend it so that the inner tube is just level with the bottom of the scale. Then tighten the gland, not overly tight but just a good finger tight. Make sure that everything's clean because if dirt gets into this gland it'll leak. Now this is a hole I prepared earlier, down to about 50 centimetres so far. And it's a nice loamy soil so we don't have a problem with smearing and it's fairly dry at the moment anyway so uh, we don't have to worry about cleaning out the uh, hole if you've got a heavy clay that's likely to smear then you may have to use a wire brush or something similar down the hole to um, to stop the sides smearing now I've got a piece of uh, cloth or paper towel on the bottom of the hole to uh, just to cushion the uh, just to cushion the instrument as it hits the bottom and so it doesn't stir the bottom up too much. So into a bucket of water, open the tap on the top and suck. When it's full, close off the tap. Now the first thing to do is to check that there isn't any leaks. Now we're getting a few bubbles up there. I think those are, oh that's, that's actually the gland leaking, so we need to tighten this gland a bit. That's fixed up that leak. And make sure that the head of water is constant. And since that's constant, we don't have a leak up here in the cork at the top. We can then now quickly lift it out of the bucket and drop it down the hole. And we can start the reading. You can see that water is being air is being delivered at the bottom of the hole, which means water must be flowing out. And we can see that our water level is dropping. Now if we measure that water level versus time we can work out what the flow of water into the bottom of the hole is and therefore what the infiltration rate through the bottom of the, of the hole is. You can see that rate slowing down now a bit. That was sorptivity at the beginning. Now we're getting a much more steady rate as the bottom of the hole saturates. The principle of the Talsma permeameter is fairly straightforward. In the bottom of the tube there are two holes. That hole you can see there is the one that lets air into the tube. The only way for water to flow out of that tube is for air to enter it somewhere. And the only place for air to enter is via that hole there. Now we've got this little aluminium disc sim simulating the bottom of the borehole. So if we spill a bit of water out of it, we should see some air enter through that hole and bubbles will come up inside. We're now simulating a bit of infiltration going on and you can hear water going in, air going in rather. As the air goes in through that hole, water will be flowing out through the other hole which is further down to compensate for the amount of water I'm spilling out of this small dish. So effectively all this instrument does is maintain a water depth in the bottom of a borehole. If that depth is no more than the diameter of the hole 
then you can regard it as vertical infiltration through the bottom of the hole. If you change the location of this hole, if you block this hole up with tape and bore another hole further up the tube, then uh, you effectively are putting a lot of water through the sides of the borehole and you end up having to use the second more complex formula. Um, this is easy enough to do if you want to do that, but I warn you that formula is very difficult to use. As a basic test for the instrument, put it in a bucket of water, suck it so that it's half full of water at least, so that you can see the water level in the transparent tube, and turn off the tap at the top, and just make sure that the water level is constant. You can see here what happens if there's a leak in the rubber gland. That's caused by either dirt or not being, not being tight enough or a little bit of dirt in it, in which case take it out and clean it. If there are no bubbles coming up, but the water level is dropping anyway, then the leak is probably at the top around the uh, stopper or maybe the tap is leaking here. I've opened the tap slightly to uh, simulate, simulate that.